Hey guys, Mr. Mill here. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but now that we're in e-learning for the rest of the year, for the man of the year, I figured I'd show my face once again and hopefully start some more videos. So, uh, what I've been up to, uh, I just had a baby. Uh, his name is Carter, born on March 5th. And I can't wait. And we've been living in hard times during this quarantine, but you know, it's a double-edged sword. I get to stay home with him, but then again, I don't get to see you guys. But here I am, I'm just here to do an intro video and hopefully uh, give you guys a feel of what's going on for the man of the year. So, um, I just want to talk about what we've been doing so far. I hope you guys have been enjoying the art e-learning so far. Um, so far, week one, we did a color wheel with K through one. And then we did food art, which I thought was a really cool idea. I saw it online somewhere. Uh, Van Gogh rooms we've done before in the past in the art room. I figured we'd bring an old project back, but it did require materials. Hopefully you guys were able to do it. Uh, week two was a little bit more fun, a little bit different. Uh, I told K through one to look through some books that they had and uh, look through uh, some like stuff with like circles and rectangles and try to come up with something on a piece of paper using those materials. Um, second through third grade had to do a fashion show. Um, so if you see that sweet two slide, it was pretty fun. And then I found some really cool links on some virtual tours of some uh, local museums in our area. So uh, whenever this quarantine's over, maybe in real life you guys can go visit them. My favorite is still the Art Institute uh, here in Chicago. I definitely recommend it. So when you guys get a chance, and I'm sure you guys will uh, in the near future, I highly recommend going there. Uh, week three, uh, it was a little bit more, uh, well, a little bit more difficult, but uh, it was more of an experience. I wish I was there to teach you guys during the art room. Uh, sorry, in the art room, but of course, unforeseen circumstances, we can't. So uh, K through one, you guys did still life, which is great. Um, second through third, you guys did a found object project, which I thought was really cool. So you found a pair of scissors, put on the uh, paper, and then kind of draw something off of it. Uh, really cool. And then week three for fourth through fifth grade, kind of what second third grade did, but more advanced. You had to guys had to put an art show using complementary colors and analogous colors. So if you guys don't know what that is, complementary colors are colors that are on the opposite sides of each other on the color wheel. Uh, that's where the word uh, came from when people were like, hey, that scarf really complements that sweater. Um, so that's where that word comes from, word complementary. Uh, analogous colors are colors that are next to each other in the color wheel, so they're very more uh, similar. They're kind of like um, enhancing a project in a way, and uh, that's more advanced terms, but uh, we won't get into that because this is introductory, and I just want to talk about what we're doing uh, for the following week. And over here, I got uh, a couple books here for you guys. Now, uh, I read I read Carter's Room, and I found some really interesting books. Uh, stuff I haven't read in a while, stuff I have read to some of you guys before. Uh, let's go over them real quick. I don't think I have this camera on, so give me one sec. All right, so now that I have this top camera working over here, uh, I can kind of show you what these books that I got from my son's room. And uh, let me adjust the table right here. There we go. All right, so some books that I found that I can't wait to read to you guys is Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. Found on uh, Amazon a couple uh, couple months ago, and uh, I love this book. It's really cool. Can't wait to read it to you guys. Uh, Miffy uh, X Rembrandt. Um, I haven't read this quite yet, but I flipped through it, and I found this in my classroom. So definitely not from when I was there. So probably Mr. Keeker or another older art teacher had this, and I thought it was a really cool book, and I uh, can't wait to see this with you guys. Uh, I found this one on Amazon, so this is one I bought. It's called The Art Teacher is Weird. I hope you guys can relate to it, because it's me. <laughs> but um, I, I read through it. Uh, it's kind of quirky. I, I'm not a fan of it, but uh, I'll read to you guys, because I thought it was really cool. Uh, the Pigeon Has to Go to School. I find it kind of ironic, because we're not in school, obviously, but I think we've come up with a project with this one, and I found this one. It's not art related in particular, but I found it really entertaining. The Little Red Riding Sheep. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite books, and I think the illustrations in this book are is uh, fantastic. So, hopefully, I get to look forward to that. And uh, let's discuss what we're doing for uh, week four. So, how the week's normally organized? I normally group together the projects, so it's uh, not technically more work. But uh, I found things that are more relatable to different grades. So what I do is this. I have K through 1, and then I have 2 through 3, and I have 4 through 5 doing the projects uh, very simultaneously. So that's how it works. So I want to do three projects for this week, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it right now. K through 1, we're going to go through this book called Beautiful Oops. And I thought this book was kind of nice because uh, it has a lot of cool concepts in it. So we're going to go over this one real quick. It's so beautiful. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Okay. Two through three. So second through third grade, you guys will be doing 
comic book art, I figured we'd use uh, our ability and uh, knowledge of how to make comic books and apply it to the following lesson. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. You guys are doing comic books. Watch out. I know it's a children's book. I know you guys are a little bit older, but I got a brilliant idea for you guys. So we're gonna redo, uh, let's see, redo, I don't even know what this is called. A classic story. That's what we're doing for this week, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this introduction of week four. And uh, you guys can uh, see the videos probably up here somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna post it. I don't know. Look at the link for the next video, and uh, hope to see you guys there.